Welcome to my F1 2024 Las Vegas Grand Prix reaction. I'm Sogan and uh, I just couldn't make it this time again. Unfortunately, uh, I'm gonna go through the Las Vegas Grand Prix. Well, um, was was nice, I think. <laughs> was definitely not as good as last year, in my opinion, but still, we had some interesting battles throughout the field. Obviously, a very dominant victory, but you know, I'm, you cannot get the fights for a win every single time um yeah definitely not at the level of the brazilian grand prix but still it was a it was a okay race um all right grand prix weekend i don't really like the circuit specifically but i mean it, it delivered at least an okay race definitely uh had some worse races this year anyways um let's get into the grand prix weekend it was much much uh warmer than last year for example so yeah, we had a different picking order, definitely, um, especially at the top. We had a very quick Mercedes from the get-go in the first practices. I think Hamilton topped every single practice session. Then, like, Q1 and Q2, maybe. Uh, I guess Q1 wasn't topped by him, because I would remember that style, but Q2 was. And Q3, uh, didn't quite manage to pull position. He actually made mistakes then, go off in P10. That was... That was a uh, very un uncharacteristic of Lewis, but yeah, he's not he's not that Lewis that we know can do it every single weekend anymore. Um, yeah, George Russell, it's on pole position. His teammate got in there and uh, secured the pole position for the team, which was I mean, Mercedes were ar arguably the quickest car this weekend. I don't, I don't think anyone questions that. Um, so yeah, no points here. P2, uh, Pierre, no, Carlos Sainz, sorry. <laughs> Carlos Sainz got P2, was actually pretty, pretty impressive uh, throughout the entire weekend. Unfortunately, um, there are drivers who probably will deserve that more, so I will not get a point for that category. But I'm not, we're not getting points for this either. Carlos Sainz, though, finished in P3, so I get points for this. Uh, it's nice. Obviously, <laughs> every point counts this late in the season. There's two races left, and I'm still trailing Ajax, I think, by a couple of points. So, yeah, it's just important. Uh, P4, P5, uh, obviously, P3. No, sorry. Um, wait, wait. No, 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 no. no sorry. My bad. So, I didn't get P3. It was Pierre Gasly in the Nalpine. I had no idea where that came from. Uh, I was like, <laughs> I couldn't believe my eyes, honestly, when like qualifying ended. Like, how is how is Casley up there in Alpine? <laughs> that was uh, that was weird stuff. Uh, P four though, um, that was Carl Sainz. No points here. And P five in the end was Max Verstappen. So no points for qualifying. Let's get into the Grand Prix, uh, we had P one George Russell. And uh, completing the Mercedes 1 2, Lewis Hamilton B 2. No points here. B 3 was Carol Sanchez, was the one that I remember getting a point for. Um, random Carl Sanchez po podium. <laughs> I get a point for it. I'm not complaining. B 4 was uh, Charles Leclerc, so no points. And B 5, uh, Max Verstappen stayed in B 5, so no points here either. Lana Norris uh, passed his lap. That's correct. That's a point for me. And. Uh, e 2 0 after the first half, or should I say? Okay, least impressive team. Um, yeah, I I don't quite think there was a less impressive team than Aston Martin. I mean, they got both out in Q one. No, no points on on Sunday, obviously, because that's Aston Martin. But I mean, like, uh, yeah, McLaren McLaren could be argued for, but. I didn't quite think they would, the, tr the strike would necessarily suit them that much. Just thought Lando would win eventually. Yeah, I uh, don't know. I, I mean, yeah, McLaren has been on the podium only once in the last four weekends, so I guess we can't expect them to be that good. Um, obviously, Red Bull had both drivers in the points in the end, um, with Perez in the, in the like in the P10 or whatever, Max obviously carrying Red Bull in P10 um, wasn't least impressive team definitely. Mercedes the opposite has got points, uh, got back to P6 in the constructors. Uh, Sauber, I mean they're they actually, I, I mean Joe was pretty close to points this weekend. Uh, it was 
but very, very strange things to see, but yeah, I saw definitely not. Yeah, Toro Rosso, I mean, Sonoda was up there, Lawson wasn't, but that's more on Lawson than, uh, than on the team. Ferrari, I think they have a big argument on McLaren, but still, I don't quite think they're getting, then getting a P3 and P4 is a uh, warranting a impressive team. Williams, um, yeah, a crash from Colby into qualifying, not great. Um, I think, yeah, uh, Albon also, I think he was pretty close to points uh, during the Grand Prix. I don't, I don't quite remember what happened. Did he retire or? I actually don't remember. Uh, maybe he did, I don't know. Uh, Williams wasn't slow this weekend, but it wasn't like exceptionally good. I don't think they were like that bad, uh, honestly. You, you don't expect Williams to be in the points every single weekend. They're, they're in P9 in the constructors. Uh, so yeah, that's to be said. Alpine, definitely not. I mean, yeah, uh, Gasly DNF'd, but still, I mean, they're not getting at least impressive team. If they're going to be free on pace in qualifying, yeah, Aston Martin takes it. Um, okay, that's at the point here. Rio for me, this is looking very good. Least impressive driver, definitely not Alonso. Cal Pinto, I mean, wasn't the greatest weekend for him, but I mean, wasn't the least impressive team. Let's be real. Uh, yeah, I think this is this is going to Lawson. Honestly, like Lawson was. Like, he was destroyed by Sonoda this weekend. We, we need to we need to mention that just d destroyed every single session. I I don't know what's happening to Liam, but he's just not. He's just becoming another Ricardo. I don't, I don't quite think he's getting that Red Bull seat at this stage. Uh, if he keeps performing like this, he needs a really good two. Well, he needs the two last weekends of the season be extremely good, um, in, or, in order to beat another Red Bull. Other than that, maybe. <sighs> It's difficult to know who will replace Perez because I mean, if they keep Perez for another season, that's just that that does not happen. I, I just can't believe that. Um, yeah, okay, no points here. Most impressive team, definitely Mercedes. I think this is there's no question about this either. Um, I mean, getting a pole position in one two, arguably should have been a one two in qualifying as well. Uh, just just amazing pace of all for other weekends somehow uh, managed to do well <laughs> put all the things together expect except the qualifying obviously um yeah perfect weekend almost perfect weekend for mercedes uh is yeah um, now both mercedes drivers have won multiple races this week uh, this uh this season as well as uh, other free drivers i don't know uh, wait cars for yeah other five drivers so that's seven drivers seven multiple race winners this season yeah that's probably a record <laughs> uh crazy stuff uh, most impressive driver i mean signs was better than leclerc this weekend um yeah that was this whole controversy we have leclerc shouting over the radio i didn't quite get it i mean what was I supposed to do? Just sit behind him and lose like five seconds till Charles warms his tires up? I don't know. Um, it's just weird strategy from Ferrari. I mean, Sainz was screwed by the by the pit stop. Uh, I mean, the no pit stop. <laughs> he was called in and then called out, crossed the line. Uh, fortunately, it wasn't a penalty because apparently you can um, cross that line in the race, not in qualifying. You get a lap time deleted, but uh, we actually may just be track specific because in austria for example the pit line entry is in the racing line so it's probably track specific i don't know why it didn't why it wasn't even investigated uh it's just a weird occurrence uh, no points here then i want to i, I want to mention most impressive driver in my opinion it was um uh, what they want to say uh, crap i forgot uh yeah, I'm probably not. I don't even remember that. I mean, Gasly's impressive qualifying was there, but the race kind of, I mean, the engine didn't allow him to get the most impressive driver. Hulkenberg could be argued for, but I, I don't think he's, I don't think these performances are that rare any, any, any day, like anymore. Um, he's getting pretty consistent points. Uh, well, at least his best been, uh, but he had a rough patch. Uh, couple last couple of races, he's getting back on track, scoring points. 
um, pretty much would expect with him uh, from him uh, as the same pacing and constructors. I mean, he's P10 in the drivers' championship. You kind of expect him to be there. So Yuki, Yuki definitely was a good shout, but I'm probably gonna get it to give it to George. I mean, I mean flawless in qualifying, flawless in the race. Uh, there was no one challenging him that on that day. Maybe if Lewis would have started next to him, we could see some interesting battles throughout the race, but I don't know how that panned out. I mean, Lewis's mistake in qualifying cost him that win, probably, like, any chance on the, on the win. Obviously, Lewis had incredible pace throughout the, throughout the race, but as soon as um, the team told George to pick up the pace, he just grew another three seconds in the gap, so I definitely don't think... Uh, Lewis was like a second faster than George uh, on like, uh, per lap. Uh, just this is not happening. Um, yeah, I think they were very close this weekend. And uh, for sure, for Lewis, his teammate delivered and didn't make didn't make a mistake, and is now uh, free time with Sweden. I think um, with obviously uh, with this palace qualification would have been without it would have been four time. It's already higher than Norris. <laughs> Incredible. Um yeah. Actual prediction. This one uh Bottas Q2. Oh my god. Do one weekend when show destroys Bottas in qualifying. It's this one with I predict Bottas in Q2. To be fair there was a Sauber in there but uh, not Bottas so no points. Uh Max Versus Lana didn't happen. Yeah this is it. Oh uh, four two one a pretty good weekend for me and on the next one uh, it's Qatar this weekend and we're gonna put out our predictions later this later today um so yeah um make sure to watch that and thank you guys everyone who's been listening to me while playing alone uh once again and have a, have a nice whatever left your <laughs> whatever there's left of your day peace